I need your help with Duquesne air conditioner troubleshooting. First thing, make sure you actually turned on the AC instead of flipping it from heat to neutral, and turn down the thermostat. It is set to cool, but it is not doing anything. For their control boards, when the red and green LEDs are both off, the control panel is getting no power. So it may be a dead control board. Or something chipped the breaker for the AC. I cannot see how. If you've got a lot of garage power tools in use while the AC is drawing power to start up, the breaker might have been tripped. Or something is wrong electrically and blew the fuse. At least replacing the fuse is easy to do. If the thing is working normally, the lights blink slowly together. If it has an anti-short cycle, they have an alternating slow flash, red then green then red again. What is an anti-short cycle? It is not running because it thinks it will short out, so it is locked out and shut down but smart enough to tell you why. In which case, I need to either turn stuff off to not max out the load, or replace fuses. If the thing has lights on but won't come on, the starting capacitor might be dead. If the compressor tries to kick in but cannot, and all you have is a fan blowing, maybe you need a starter cap kit. Sometimes it runs but makes a lot of funny noises. If it is sizzling and hissing, it is either in defrost mode because it actually froze up, or there's an electrical problem. What do you do if an AC freezes? Well it is too warm for an AC to actually freeze, unless it was because you turned on the AC when you meant the heater, since they freeze when it is below 60. A lot of Duquesne ACs have a defrost unit to melt that ice. It was around 90 when I gave in and turned it on. You may have a refrigerant leak, cooling the air around the AC. If it is bad enough or the filters are clogged to limit airflow, it'll freeze the condensate your AC coils usually get. So if it is not working because there's an electrical problem beyond the breaker box, I need to call for HVAC repairs. If it has a refrigerant leak, I need an HVAC guy if only to refill the refrigerant. And find the leak in the coils or valves and seal that. Since they outlawed Freon, the high pressure replacements to Freon are more prone to leak, and that's assuming you're not working with an AC with ultra thin coils. Duquesne was not one of the companies getting sued for coils so then they were guaranteed to corrode through. I think that was a mana. Doesn't mean the solution is not replacing your coils too.